Today is day six of the How to Become a Pilot series. We're going to talk today about the multi-engine and the instrument rating, two really important ratings to become an airline pilot. To prepare for the instrument rating, you will start in the simulator. There you will learn all the basics of instrumental flying. You will learn to use the VOR and the DME to be able to navigate without visual reference outside. Some of these simulators don't have screens, so you're flying blind. You will not be able to look outside for visual reference. You really have to trust your flight instruments and be very accurate in your instrument reading. One of the maneuvers that you will learn to do in the simulator are DME arcs. This means that you will fly an arc, a circle, around the DME station with constantly the same distance. You will need to keep always at 90 degrees from the station. You will also learn VOR interceptions. When you're told to intercept a certain radial, inbound or outbound, you first have to realize at what radial you're currently flying and then calculate how to intercept in the quickest way the new radial. You will also learn how to make holdings. A holding is that when you fly over the station, you make a 180 degree turn, fly one minute outbound, another 180 degree turn, and then in one minute, if there's no wind, you should reach the station again. There are different holding entry procedures and this depends from which radial, from which position you're actually inbound to the station. We use rules of thumbs. It's something like this that we use and it really works. You also learn how to make VOR and ILS approaches. An ILS is the most accurate landing system because it gives both vertical and horizontal guidance. In the instruments you will see if you need to fly left, right, up or down. When you start flying IFR, instrumental flight rules, in the real airplane, you will first uh, practice all of these procedures and then follow actual real VOR and ILS approaches in different airports. So far you've probably only been flying with single engine aircraft because it's the most common airplane for flight training. But now it's time to start the multi-engine rating. You will learn everything about the new aircraft with two engines. Flying a multi-engine aircraft doesn't vary that much from flying a single-engine aircraft except for the extra power that it has and that in case of an engine failure the plane will bank towards the direction of the failed engine. In preparation for your multi-engine exam you therefore practice a lot of simulated engine failures. My multi-engine exam was combined with the instrument rating exam but I don't know how this works in other schools. So my exam was an IFR flight with a multi-engine aircraft, the Piper Seneca, to an airport nearby where I made an ILS approach. On the way back we made many maneuvers and simulated engine failures. So there you are, you have your private pilot license, a multi-engine rating and an instrument rating. What's next? The commercial pilot license. All about that tomorrow.